Hello and welcome back to Transfer Talk, where we discuss the latest transfer rumours from around the footballing universe. With only a few weeks until the window slams shut across Europe and just eight days until it closes in England, clubs are finalising their transfer business for the upcoming season and we have a bumper episode lined up for you today. But remember if you hear anything yourself, remember to tweet me at Doogie Critchley or the Football Daily account or alternatively just stick them in the comments below. Let's get started. We kick off this week's roundup with some more bad news for Spurs fans. Not only have Arsenal put their rivals' jibes aside by signing Saliba, Chabayos and all but completing a deal for Nicolas Pepe, which may even be done before this video goes live, it now appears that their potential deal for Los Celso, which has been talked about for weeks, could be complicated by added competition. That's because Sport Build have claimed that Bayern Munich are interested in making the 23-year-old Real Betis midfielder their fourth summer signing. Lo Celso scored nine and assisted four in 32 La Liga games on loan from PSG last season, before signing permanently for for the Seville-based club for £22.5 million in April. Reports suggest that after getting former Lyon captain Nabil Fakir through the door for an initial £17.75 million, they would be willing to let their 19-capped Argentine go for £54 million. The former PSG player has hinted that his departure could be imminent, posting a picture on Instagram with his arm around a coach with the caption, thanks for everything teacher. And while Spurs remain the front runners, Barnes' interest will no doubt increase the price and put this transfer in jeopardy. Watch this space, people. It was widely reported over the weekend, including by Spanish paper AS, that if Man City were to lose Leroy Sane to Bayern Munich, they would replace him with Real Sociedad's 22-year-old winger Mikel Oyarzabal. But whilst we at Football Daily remain incredibly sceptical that Man City will countenance the sale of one of the best young players in the world in Sane, we thought it might be worthwhile giving you guys some more information on Oyarzabal. If you guys are enjoying this video though, please remember to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to never miss a video. You won't regret it. The La Real Academy graduates played over 150 games for the club since its October 2015 debut, with 35 goals and 16 assists for his efforts in 132 La Liga appearances or 0.4 goal contributions per game. With two consecutive seasons of over 15 league goal contributions under his belt and an 18-19 expected goals and assists 90 ratio of 0.45, it's clear that the twice-capped Spaniard has a big future. But there is no way that Oyarzabal is ready to fill the boots of Sane just yet, with the German operating at 0.6 expected goals and assists per 90 for the last two seasons, and with four more goal contributions in that time than the Eibar-born forward has in his entire career. With rumours circling that City are willing to pay his £67 million release clause in the event of Sane's departure, we suggest the Sky Blues do everything in their power to keep Sane. Speaking of departures, it seems that Southampton's Cedric Suarez is potentially on the move again, with Monaco his likely destination. The 27-year-old right-back spent the back half of the 18-19 season on loan at Inter Milan, but failed to displace D'Ambrosio as first choice and ended up playing just over 250 league minutes. In his stead, Jan Valery emerged as one of the most promising fullbacks in the league, and now it appears that Hassan Hotel is prepared to let the former Sporting CP fullback go. Now, Hardim's Monaco have had a slightly frustrating window so far, only managing to make Jelson Martins loan move permanent and sign goalkeeper Benjamin Lecomte from Montpellier to date. After finishing just two points clear of the relegation playoff last term, we expected big things from them this summer, but have been underwhelmed thus far. But that could all be about to change, with Gazzetto della Sport claiming that Monaco are eyeing a double swoop for Cedric Suarez and Inter Milan's Ivan Perisic before the August deadline. But after consistently targeting young players over the last few seasons, these acquisitions would represent a shot switch in strategy. They would be better placed trying to find the long-term replacement for Falcao, who will be 34 next February and who is their only current player to score over four league goals in 18-19. It was always clear that Real Madrid would have to recoup some of the £272 million they splurged on the likes of Hazard, Jovic and Mendy this summer. So far, the likes of Llorente, Kovacic and Hernandez have all left, but some of the bigger names such as Bale, Hamas, Rodriguez and Isco have thus far remained at the Bernabeu. But now it appears that Zidane is keen to axe another one of his fringe players in the coming days, with 25-year-old striker Mariano strongly linked with a move to Roma. According to AS, the Dominican was keen to stay in the capital and fight for his place, but Zidane has so far been underwhelmed by his pre-season performances. So much so that the Frenchman publicly admitted, I have no plans for him, he is with us, he trains, he has not played, we will see the next day. The Spanish publication claimed that the 13-time European champions are willing to sell the player for 20 million euros. But after comments like that by their manager, Roma will be in a strong negotiating position. From the Gianarossi's point of view, it's clear why they want him. Edin Dzeko contributed 28% of their league goals over the last two seasons, and he continues to interest into Milan. 
and with top scorer El Shirawe having already left for China and third top scorer Kolarov 34 in November, Paolo Fonseca's men seem drastically short of goals. Get Mariano through the door and then set about bringing in another would be our advice. But Roma fans, what do you guys think about the upcoming season? Where will you guys finish and what do you guys need to do before that window slams shut? Let us know in the comments below. After a relatively quiet summer up until recently, the rapidly closing deadline seems to have sprung Everton into action. Having sold Lukman, Vlasic and Gay for a combined £59 million, the Toffees have all but signed Moisa Keane and are still chasing Wolf Zaha, as they look to complement the arrivals of Gomez and Delph. But Sky Sports News report that they aren't done there, with Southampton's Mario Lamina and Chelsea's Tomori linked with moves to Merseyside. Lamina has been made available for a transfer by the Saints, with Wolves and Man United both supposedly weighing up moves. We aren't convinced that Lamina is the man for Everton though. Whilst his 1.3 dribbles per 90 and an 86% pass accuracy suggest a perfectly able ball progressor, his 5.1 tackles and interceptions per 90 pales in comparison to the outgoing Gay 6.9. One potential option could be mines as Jean-Philippe Babin, with the Daily Mail claiming that the 23-year-old is also under consideration. His agent Bernard Collignon was quoted as saying that his client was excited about the possibility of joining Everton. But with just 2.7 tackles and interceptions per 90 for a mind side that saw just 46.9% of the ball in 1819, we think they could do better. Meanwhile, with Keane and Yerry Mina, their only senior centre backs on their books after Zuma returned to Chelsea and Jagielka left for Sheffield United, Marco Silva is exploring the possibility of taking England on a 21 international to Murray on loan from Chelsea. Either way, keep your eyes permanently fixed on good over the coming days. It seems like it's going to be busy. Now it's time for our headline topic, the big one, the one you are all here for. That's because thanks to an extraordinary turn of events, it now seems clear that a Romelu Lukaku, Paolo Dybala swap deal isn't just a figment of Joe Tomlinson's imagination, but a distinct possibility. Football Italia claimed that new Juventus manager Maurizio Sarri has given the all clear for the club to sign the 26-year-old Belgian in place of Dybala, believing Lukaku would be better suited to bringing the best out of Cristiano Ronaldo. This story has been given further credence by Damasio, who claimed that Juventus valued Dybala at 100 million euros and Lukaku at 82, meaning that it could be a straight swap with a small 20 million euro fee or so. It's been clear all summer that Lukaku is keen to leave and that Solskjaer is happy to see the back of him, after just two seasons and 42 goals in 96 appearances for the club. But if they could get Dybala in a player much more suited to Solskjaer's counter-attacking style and with the versatility to play across the front line, it could potentially be the deal of the summer. Swapping an unhappy Lukaku for Dybala, who scored 78 goals and assisted 25 in 182 games for the club, seems like an absolute no-brainer. But guys, we want to hear from you. Do you think this move is completely nonsensical and just paper talk? Or do you think there is an actual possibility that Dybala could end up in the Red Devils jersey? Let us know in the comments down below. So that was Transfer Talk for another week, people. What did you guys think of it? Let me know in the comments down below. Did we miss any out, etc, etc. Get it all down below. I want to hear from you guys ASAP. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you next time. Bye.